Okay, it's JDS Sport Talks, welcome back. And today we're doing a story that I talked about yesterday. And actually before we do that, I should check, I should have done this before I got in, I didn't think of it though. How McCarthy is doing. There doesn't seem to be any news on McCarthy at the moment. So I'm just going to move on to the stories for today, which is the one I talked about yesterday with Djokovic. Apparently wanted to quit tennis at one point after a loss in, I believe it was the Australian Open. It was in one of the Grand Slams. It was... It doesn't say. Oh yeah, well... It was against an Australian, apparently. Jürgen Meltzer. Doesn't sound Australian to me. Not heard of him either. I don't think they say what Grand Slam it was in. They just say a Grand Slam match. That's the first story for today. Um, Basically... I don't think it was really a proper want to quit, but... I make the title anyway. So pretty much what happened was he was 2-0 up. And he'd already felt like he should have been doing better in his career. Because he kept losing important matches at that stage in his career against Nadal and Federer. Who were a few years older so they were closer to their peak. And um, I guess he was just a bit frustrated. And then in this Grand Slam game, which I still can't seem to find where it says which Grand Slam it was in. He was two sets up and lost. I don't know why that would make you want to quit. But... He hasn't, and look where he is now. There's not really much to talk about. In more, from this photo, it looks like it might be the um, Golden, Roland Garros. Roland Garros? Is that correct? Or was it? Yeah, Roland Garros. Uh, yeah, de- definitely is the Roland Garros. Ga- Roland Garros. That doesn't sound. Anyway, let's move on. So, yeah, there's a lot of writing here, but it doesn't really say much. It's more like a, more of a really overly in depth view on what happened. So basically what happened was he was two sets up, he'd already felt like he should have been doing better in his career, he just kept losing important matches against, well, two of the three best players in history in my opinion. Um, because they're all, I don't want to say three best, three of the best in history. Um, yeah, it was definitely Roland Garros, uh, it says here now, lower down, but there's a lot of writing here, if you want to read it, it will be in the description, but pretty much... He lost this game after being two sets up, and then pretty much given up. Went, no, I can't be, but I can't be stuffed. It's too hard. I keep failing at the important parts. Now I'm losing to like 37th, 27th seed. Is that seeded? 27th? Yes, 27th seed player. After being two sets up, he was uh, third seed at the time as well. Um, but look what happens when he didn't. That proves you never, never give up. Just keep going, no matter how. Well, within reason, no matter how big the obstacles you face in your career or even leading up to your career, you just keep going. And if you're good enough, which Djokovic clearly is, you will get there. And he has definitely got there. Um, it's going to be a very short episode today. As I said, nothing's happened with the McCarthy thing, so I'm going to move on to this other one, which is about... Well, this is particularly this article is about Dean Cox being put into the Hall of Fame. But the whole story, I guess, is more about... AFL has been putting a lot of players into the Hall of Fame lately, Dean Cox being the latest. Uh, there was another one a few days ago, they were all on my phone before, but I don't have the open, so I'm not going to bother bringing it up. Again, this will be in the description, this is going to be a very short video, because I don't really know what to say about this, but there was some older guy from St. Kilda recently that we put in, I'm going to try and find it now, because I might as well. But yeah, so Dean Cox is the latest, great player, Eagles. Uh, X. Uh, Ruckman, then uh, did he come coach with us? I think he did for like a year or something and then moved on to Sydney where I believe he still is. Um, so yeah, I'll list off some of the players that are in the Hall of Fame that have recently been put in. So after Dean Cox was Greg Phillips, he'd been put in as well. Port Adelaide and Collingwood. Um, I'm not sure where he played. I don't actually know Greg Phillips. Um, it doesn't say where he played either. Obviously, Dean Cox, Ruckman, Eagles. Who else has been in there recently? Jonathan Brown's been put in there. Forward for Lions, I believe. Yeah, for the entire career it was Lions. Um, Simon Black has been put in recently as well. Also Brisbane Lions. Not sure where he played, but I do remember the guy. Um, John Kennedy's been put into the Hall of Fame. Uh, Lenny Hayes from St Kilda. Where was John Kennedy from? Uh, Hawthorne and North Melbourne was John Kennedy. So yeah, they've had a bit of a random spur of putting people in the Hall of Fame. 
Um, that's really all I want to talk about this video, obviously, for both... Was that English? That's really all I want to talk about in this video. Obviously, for both stories, there will be things in the description if you want to elaborate more on it. Um, and if you want to see the actual... I'm not sure if you actually see that, but if you want to see the things where they announce the Hall of Fame, go on AFL's Twitter or on their Instagram, which is what I'm on, to look at it, to see the post saying they're in the Hall of Fame now. Um, so that's it for today. Not, not much to talk about. It's going to be a shorter one. This has been JDS. Thanks. Bye. See you next time. See ya.